Hi parents, my name is Josh. I'm the junior high pastor here at Mariners Irvine. So excited that your teenager, your son or daughter is coming to JHM Summer Campus. It is an epic week where we've got powerful speakers, amazing worship, epic games, and so much fun. Food trucks, uh, it's gonna be absolutely lights out. Here's the deal, wanna make sure that you feel totally prepared for the week ahead, and even though it's a couple weeks away, I know you're starting to think about what do I bring and what do I do, and our cell phones a lot of all those good questions. This orientation video is here to help. Summer camp's gonna be awesome, can't wait. All right, so right out of the gate, you might be wondering, what should I expect on this amazing week of camp? Thanks for asking, that's exactly why I'm here. Here's the gist of it, camp starts on Monday. It goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and it's the same every day. I should say, I mean, the camp is not the same, but the schedule, 2 p.m., make sure you're here, ready to go, drop them off, whatever. and 8 p.m., we are done. Don't be late, jump in the car line, grab your kid, get out of here, get a good night's sleep, and come right back. For more. So every day starts at two, ends at eight, and there's about 500 people that are gonna be jumping into camp between our staff, amazing volunteers, and about 400 students. It's going to be a wild, wild week. So I wanna make sure that you know where to go and where to be to make sure that your kid doesn't miss a thing. But the gist of it is two to eight every single day, Mariners Irvine, it's gonna be the best. All right, so here's the deal. On the first day, Monday, this is the most critical day because you're getting the lay of the land and so is your son or daughter. So the event starts at two, our first session, two o'clock, we're gonna go nuts, it's gonna be crazy. So you're gonna wanna get here before two, even as early as maybe 1.30, 1.45 or so, just to make sure that your kid gets checked in correctly and gets connected with their group and with their leader. Now it's really important, especially on day one, to make sure that you feel comfortable and they feel comfortable setting up the rest of the entire week. Now as the week progresses, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, if you're like, I wanna drop them off at the curb, they're fine, that is also totally great. But the first day, swing in, introduce yourself, meet their small group leader, just make sure that everything is good and that everybody feels comfortable. It really helps the week start off perfectly. So then later in the week, uh, whatever goes, just push, shove them out the door while you're driving by and say, I'll see you at eight or so if I'm done at the movies. All right, so maybe not quite that dramatic, uh, but here's the deal. We wanna make sure that you feel like you have all the information you need, you know exactly where your kids should be. We'll have a ton of our volunteers and staff all over campus guiding you to the right place to make sure you get your kid checked in and especially set up on day number one. And also on Saturday and Sunday, we have our normal youth group services, and it's a weekend that you don't wanna miss. All that momentum, the spiritual decisions from camp rolling right into our church service. In fact, we're bringing in one of our camp speakers that's gonna speak on Friday night. They're gonna be speaking on Saturday and Sunday. I would say join at the 5.30 service in particular, because that's gonna be the one where we really have a lot of students here. It's hyped up, it's fun, and we're gonna do baptisms right after. We'd love to have you join us every day for camp and then on Saturday for service and baptism celebration or Sunday too. 
All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, what is the deal with the team colors and the team mascot? Well, every year at JHM Summer Campus, I say every year like we've done it a bunch, this is only year two, uh, but year one it was amazing. Uh, each of your, your children will be given a team color and they will be assigned a team mascot. Now, I don't have that information today, but we'll email it to you next week. But the idea is that you can get some t-shirts or pom-poms or hairspray in different colors to represent your team well. So it'll be simple, like, I don't know, blue, green, yellow, red, whatever. Uh, you'll get a team color and that assignment, but hey, go all in with the colors. Like this is a big deal because the team is gonna stay together, they're gonna do cheers together, it's amazing in the highlight video. Like don't be like, ah, oh, I should, I should uh, maybe get them a red t-shirt. No, I want you to go nuts and go crazy. Uh, everybody's gonna do this and I don't want your kid to be wearing purple and they're on the red too. So your team color, very important. It's coming next week and it's gonna be really, really awesome. So go nuts, be creative. I've seen people order like the, uh, the onesie, like a giant onesie uh, that covers your whole body in their team color. I don't know if you wanna do that. I guess you could use body paint on your face and arms if you really wanna go on at least a t-shirt or a fun hat. Uh, just embrace the team colors. We're gonna use them throughout the week. And there's a silly mascot that goes with them as well. Uh, the yellow team is the, I think they're, they're the tacos this year. Um, and there's a, there's a blue donkey. They're just hilarious and fun. We're gonna have a blast this week. So team colors, go all in. It's gonna be great. Get decked out. All right, so what should I bring to camp? Glad you asked. You actually don't need a ton because it's essentially a day camp for junior hires where they arrive at two and leave at eight. But what happens in between, they could get messy. It's gonna definitely get soaking wet and it's gonna get crazy. So if you wanna bring like a sling bag with a few essentials in it, you can. There's a packing list in the PDF that you can download below in the description of this video or on marinersyouth.com. You might wanna bring some sunscreen or something like that, but honestly, you don't need too much. We'll even provide a little journal for them, name tags for everybody. I mean, it's gonna be great. I, and maybe a t-shirt to swap out when one gets soaked or covered in whipped cream or shaving cream or who knows what. Um, uh, and that might be a good idea as well. And for sure, a refillable water bottle. It's essential. It's gonna be hot, it's always hot. Um, but just make sure they've got a bottle. We'll have water stations and water bottles and drinks everywhere. But if they've got something, now don't give them the best water bottle in the house because at the end of camp, we always gather like 30 of them. Actually, we should resell those, that's good. Anyhow, uh, just a water bottle, especially a reusable one would be great. And all the, ca uh, the packing details are listed below. What do we do with cell phones? I think that's a great question. Now here's the deal, you might be a parent and you're like, oh, we don't give our kids a cell phone yet. Great, good for you, fully supportive of you, and that's awesome. Most sixth graders don't have phones in our ministry. Some, I'd say, I'd say some to many, maybe seventh graders, eighth graders, a lot of eighth graders have phones. Now, at some camps, phones are not allowed, and we will not necessarily be encouraging kids to be on their phones, but we're okay with it. So if they wanna bring a phone, again, at your own risk, keep it in the sling bag. If they're on it too much, we're definitely gonna tell them to get off their phones but the, they wanna take pictures or post on social media, it's not a big deal. Again, we're fully supportive of, of what you wanna do as well, so if a kid doesn't have a phone, this is easy for you. And if you don't want them to bring their phone, supportive of that, and if you're like, hey, I want you to keep it so that I know you're where you are and that you're safe, great. Uh, we're just not gonna let kids be on their phones a ton. It just could be a distraction. The sessions are amazing, the games are amazing, it's gonna be messy, crazy, wet, wild, and phones will kinda of get in the way but it's up to you. However you wanna handle phones, we're all in. Hope that helped, hope that's helpful for you. A frequently asked question is, do I need to bring money to camp? And you totally could, but not really. Like aside from maybe buying uh, a t-shirt, which they're all getting a camp t-shirt for free, but maybe to buy an extra one or something, or some little souvenir like a sticker or something, uh, from our merch store, they could, but everything is included. All the meals, all the games, all the fun, the inflatables, the laser tag, all this cool stuff we've got planned, it's all included. So spending money is not nearly as big of a deal as it is 
at JHM Summer Campus as it might be in other locations. So I would say the first few days, zero dollars. Don't bring any money. And then maybe on the last day or two, you could, if you want, you can give them a little bit of money and say, hey, pick up a t-shirt or a souvenir of the week, uh, maybe on Thursday or Friday. It's up to you, you do whatever you want, but you just don't need a lot of spending money. All right, there's gonna be plenty of snacks and plenty of food at our JHM Summer Campus all five days. But you might have some food sensitivities or food allergies you want us to be aware of. Please let us know right away, especially when you check in on the first day. If there's some special accommodations that need to be made, we will offer uh, gluten-free options from the food trucks that will be here. Um, if, you, if you're dairy, I don't even know what that's called, lactose intolerant? I just feel bad for you. Or your, or your kid because cheese is so wonderful and delightful. And I was born in Wisconsin, uh, right outside of Green Bay, and cheese is like life there. So maybe we should just pause for prayer right now if, you're lactose, if your child is lactose intolerant. I'm kidding. All right, we'll figure it out. Uh, Gluten-free, we know we've got you covered. The rest of them, we'll do our very best. Please let your leaders know at check-in. It'll help us out a ton. The food's gonna be great. It's food trucks, delicious, fast, so much fun. What do we do in case of an emergency? We're not expecting anything crazy this week at camp, but things do happen, and so we wanna let you know that there is a nurse that will be on site for the entirety of camp from beginning to end. Uh, my wife is an RN, and so she makes sure that I am on this every year. We got a nurse on the property. Security will be here as well. The number on the screen below, if you have an emergency and you need to contact us, feel free to call that number and they'll quickly radio our staff and make sure that we get your child where they need to be. So just know that we've got medical stuff covered, security stuff covered, and if you have an emergency or you need to get a hold of your child or someone on staff, it's actually pretty easy. Save this number in your phone at Mariner's Church here at the Irvine location. It'd be helpful for you to have in the future in the event of an emergency too. All right, you might wanna see pictures or video of camp. How do I get a hold of those? I'm glad you asked. It's actually really simple. On our mariners.jhm Instagram account every single day, we're gonna be posting a ton of pictures and maybe even some videos of what's happening during the day. So yes, your kid may have a cell phone. They could be posting images or sending you images. We're gonna make sure that the official Mariners JHM account is loaded with tons of images so that you can see uh, we're doing this thing where we're pieing volunteers each morning. It starts with two and it ends with like 30. Vol it's gonna be amazing. Uh, it's called Pie Cry, and I think it's named for obvious reasons. Uh, but if you, we're gonna have those epic, hilarious moments captured forever on our Instagram, and you can kind of spy on what's going on and see how the team color outfits are going. And last year we even had a, a drone shot of something. It was awesome. Here's the deal, we know that you know, you're gonna be separated from your kid for a few hours and we wanna make sure that you see how much fun they're having and how great it is and let you have a little peek inside what's going on. So if you haven't followed at mariners.jhm yet, make sure you do that so that you'll see all the goodness that's going on. Also, every night of camp, we're gonna have a highlight video which is gonna be quickly edited with the day's events and we'll just highlight everything that happened, maybe a little clip of the speaker and the games and the fun, and you can watch those on YouTube or on our Instagram channel as well. Just keeping you in the loop and some fun memories uh, for years to come as well. One of the highlights of camp is that we bring in world-class communicators. Literally, some of the best youth speakers in the country will be here on the week of camp. I can't wait for your son or daughter to experience the joy, the stories, God's word, the laughter, the fun, and the epic challenges that they're gonna receive from the scripture as we dive in every single day. In fact, multiple sessions each day as well. There's so much spiritual transformation happens at camp. So I'm thankful that you said yes to sending your kid and their friends or whatever to camp, but know that the messages are so powerful and that our gatherings will be transformative, hopefully, for their whole life. 
And here's one other thing that we're committing to do as well. Every night around the time that you're gonna leave home to come pick up your kids, I don't know, 7.30 or whatever, you're about to leave the house and you're gonna come back and pick up your son or daughter, I'm gonna send you a quick email, the same one that you registered with, with just a few highlights of the day and a couple of questions or discussion starters for you to bring up on the way home. I'm calling them parent prompts. And I'm a, it's not a great name, but here's what I'm hoping happens. I'm hoping that you have a little insight into the scriptures that we learned or the truths that were taught. And on the way home, on those 20 or 30 minutes back to your place while they're exhausted, hopefully laughing and telling stories of the day, they can also share with you some of the decisions that they've made or some of the truths that they've internalized that they wanna be as they follow Jesus, or maybe even a big spiritual decision they make as well. I promise you, world-class speakers, the best there is, and we're gonna equip you to make sure you can have great conversations on the way home as well. All right, so that's it. In addition to the big download below, the PDF that's loaded with other goodness to make sure you're ready for camp, here's what you can expect from us. One is, thank you for watching this video, well done. Two, grab the packing list and all that below. Three, next week you're gonna get the team color and you're gonna go shopping, that'll be awesome. You're also gonna get the leader's name so you know the person who's gonna be leading their discussion each week and they're going to contact you in the week before camp so that they can get to know you. You can share what's going on developmentally or spiritually in your kids' life. You can also talk about allergy stuff. It's a, just a great chance to connect with the adult who's gonna be pouring into your kid this week as well. And then the week after is camp. And don't forget that Monday is really, really important. Come check your kid in, walk right up, make sure that everything is all set, walk them to their leader in the worship center, it's gonna be awesome, and then say see you later back at eight o'clock every night of the week. It's gonna be amazing, we cannot wait. We've been praying, we've been planning, and we have been preparing for this week for literally months. And we believe that God's gonna do something extraordinary. So thanks for saying yes to summer camp. Thanks for believing in our junior high ministry. If you have any questions or comments, you can reply to any email we send. Someone will be back in touch right away. You can leave a comment. We are on it. We want to make sure that you, your son or daughter has the best experience ever and that JHM Summer Campus 2022 will be an event they look back on that changed the whole course of their life. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to see you there. Blessings.